You hear everyone talking about print on demand. It is everywhere and you want to get in. I know because even my nine-year-old wants to get in and I'm gonna tell you the story in a moment. But I know you are stuck on designing stuff that actually sells. I understand that. So let's cut through that today because I wanna share with you some killer AI tools that are going to skyrocket your store success with zero creativity blocks, I promise you. It's basically like you have your own army of mini use except yous that are super AI talented and empowered so that you are going to be super successful at print on demand, but you're gonna be earning in your sleep because you've leveraged AI, which is doing all the work for you, so you are working smart and not hard. So the reason why I decided to make this video today is because the other day my nine-year-old decided that he wants to start an Etsy shop and sell Minecraft desired merch. Now, I'm not a designer and he's not either. Obviously, he loves drawing and painting, but not to the point where he can replicate a Minecraft design and let alone my skills. I, I would not be able to draw even the simplest thing. So what did we end up doing? We ended up testing all of the tools that I want to show you today to figure out which one can help him start an Etsy shop where he can sell all these Minecraft inspired merch that he has in his mind and that he would like to make. So first up on our list is an AI tool that I believe is truly revolutionary. It is unbelievable and the designs it makes are outstanding and I think the really cool part is that with the right prompt you are able to crank out hundreds of stunning unique art designs in just a couple minutes. It's seriously game-changing for any print-on-demand business no matter whether you want to create wall art or if you want to create stickers. That is mid-journey. And what sets it apart is the incredible quality of the images that it generates. Trust me, it's unbelievable what Midjourney can do. I'm talking about crisp textures, vivid colors, designs that pop, beautiful lighting. You can even tell it which camera lens you want to use to create the visuals that you're asking it to create for you. I mean, it's just incredible. But let's be fair, Midjourney does have a bit of a learning curve because um, it operates through Discord and it's not very easy to get started with. However, once you do get started with it and you've got everything set up and you've got your Midjourney account and you've got your Discord account and you access Midjourney through your Discord, then you are good to go. And all you need to do is learn how to prompt it and leave the whole creativity to Midjourney because trust me, it will blow your mind. The versatility is insane. Whether you need detailed images for different items in your store or you want to channel the style of famous artists or photographers, this is the tool for you. I mean, um, interestingly, I have an example for you from a guy also called David, just like my son. He combined the power of ChatGPT and Midjourney to create a series of captivating steampunk designs for his store, which uh, he runs on Printify. And I'm gonna come back to Printify in a moment because I am very grateful for them for sponsoring today's video. So now here's the thing, with Midjourney, they have a basic monthly plan that I think is $10 and that will allow you to create over 200 images a month. It depends on what's the quantity that you need because for a print on demand business, you should be able to manage with those 200. I don't think you would have any issues. So definitely look into Midjourney. I absolutely love it. Whoever knows me knows that I'm a big, big fan and I use it a lot. And the other day when my son reached out to help him create this Etsy shop, we actually went to Midjourney first. Now the problem with Midjourney is that it is not always easy to make changes to whatever design you've created. So all you can do is calibrate through your prompt to get it closer and closer to what you want to get out of it. So you can't really have a conversational creativity session, let's say, with Midjourney. All you can do is just tweak bit by bit your prompt until you reach whatever outcome you're looking to get from it. However, the second tool that I want to share with you today allows you to do exactly 
that. So let me introduce you to DALI. If you're not familiar, DALI is part of OpenAI's offering, so you can access it directly through ChatGPT. And in my opinion, it is one of the lesser known, lesser talked about features that now ChatGPT offers. It is a dream for everyone who is looking to create beautiful designs in a conversational manner. And DALI is all about simplicity and it has lots of features. It's very user friendly, which is what I like the most, but it does have its limitations. So let's talk about the pros and I'll give you its limitations as well. So when it comes to user experience, DALI is very, very easy because all you have to do is go into ChatGPT4, for which you do need to pay. I'll come back to that. But you will then be able to ask it what kind of design you want to create. Prompts are a lot easier than they are in mid-journey and you can do it in a conversational style. So if you get an outcome that you want to make certain changes to, you can very easily go back and just say, please replace this with that, or don't do it like this, do it like that. Or I want it with this kind of a background, or I wanted the main character to be this. So it's a lot easier because you don't have to give it again the full prompt and just make tweaks like you do with Midjourney, but you can have that back and forth with ChatGPT and using DALI. Now, let's come back to maybe the less positive. Number one, as I said, you can only access it if you have a subscription for ChatGPT4. So that might limit you to a certain extent. My genuine opinion is that it's not a big investment if you actually end up using it because you can use all of the other features that you have available with ChatGPT, DALI just being one of them. So I totally see it uh, as a, huge ROI positive investment, but obviously it ends up being your choice depending on what you're actually gonna use it for. The other thing is that DALI works on a credit system. So you will be limited to a certain amount of tokens depending on how many back and forths you need to have to get the result that you are asking for. However, in our case with my son yesterday, we realized that in the end, DALI was able to give us closer designs to what we had in mind because it was able to generate much closer to our request, to our prompt. The other limitation that you have with DALI that you don't have so much with Midjourney is that if you're trying to create a design that is very closely inspired to something that is trademarked, like Minecraft in our case, you will get a response oftentimes from DALI in ChatGPT that says that is copywritten or trademarked content and it cannot help you. So you need to find a way to get it to create something that is inspired and not really the same as the trademarked or copywritten content that you are trying to get inspiration from. Now, let's move to number three, because we are talking about print on demand and who better to use or leverage if not Printify. They have got something up their sleeve that is about to shake things up. They have recently announced their own AI image generator, and it is obviously seamlessly uh, being integrated into their mock-up generator tool. And I think what makes Printify, and particularly this tool, a complete game changer is that it's not just a regular image generator. I'm talking about a selection of 13 unique styles from the cool vibes of of anime design to the drama of cinematic designs. So they make it very, very easy for you to generate something that will sell. So you can pick your style, you get variations to choose from, and it optimizes your image to make sure that it looks beautiful, whichever product you choose to apply it to. Now, the news is that while this tool is announced, it's still in beta version. So we're all looking forward to see when it rolls out, it is definitely going to be a big deal whenever that is available because it'll be so, so much easier than lots of other AI image generators that we have. And it promises to help us create designs that actually sell. So if you're somebody who's just starting out and you feel overwhelmed by the design possibilities or you're simply running low on creative juices, let's say, this tool can be a game changer because it is 
here to help you come up with eye-catching designs without breaking a sweat. And if you're already rocking in the print-on-demand world, then this could be your ticket to exploring new product lines, new niches very, very fast without sinking a ton of cash into design resources. So whichever stage you are with your print-on-demand business, check out Printify's offering because it might be something that will help you out at this stage in your journey. The AI image generator that I mentioned is free to use right now. The only cost is the usual monthly fee that you will be paying for printing and shipping of your products. So if you're looking to jazz up your print-on-demand business, take a look at Printify's AI image generator. It might be something that will save you a ton of time. And as I mentioned, we are very grateful to be partnering with Printify for this video today. If you are not familiar with Printify, they are one of the biggest print-on-demand platforms out there, and they offer one of the largest selection of products that you can introduce in your print-on-demand business. So no matter what you're looking to create in your print-on-demand store, pretty sure that Printify are able to do that for you. The quality of their products is really, really good. You are going to be able to create very good quality output products that will give you great reviews, great and happy, satisfied clients so that you are able to grow your business. This is very important to keep in mind because it is not the case with, um, let's say, all of the other print-on-demand marketplaces. So you do want to calibrate based on the quality of the products as well. And if you're new to print-on-demand, it basically is one easy way for you to start a business that focuses on physical products without you having to hold any inventory. And you can get started with very, very, very little investment, particularly if you're gonna use the design tools that I've mentioned today, because all you have to do is come up with your design, easily done with one of the tools that I'm talking about today, then choose the product that you want to apply that design onto out of all of the items in the Printify catalog, then apply the design and create your actual finished product. But you don't even need to touch the product because what you're gonna do is you are going to integrate Printify with whichever front end tool you want to use, whether you want to create your own Shopify store or whether you want to do that by using Etsy, that is absolutely possible. And Printify allows you to do that integration literally with two or three clicks. Once you do that, then all you need to do is generate traffic for your front end store. Let's say it's an Etsy shop. Once somebody places an order on your Etsy shop, what happens is that this gets communicated to Printify who then produces that t-shirt, hoodie, backpack, water bottle, whatever you're choosing to create the design on. Once it gets produced, it'll be shipped to your client directly so you don't even have to touch the product. I do recommend you to order one or two for yourself as a sample so you make sure that the output is exactly what you were hoping for. But once that happens, you are good to go and you are able to grow a business without holding any inventory, without having to worry about shipping costs and without having to worry about production uh, optimization at all. All of that is taken care of by Printify. So if you're interested in starting your own Printify store, then all the details are gonna be linked down below. Not only that, but we are including a free guide for you that you can download. It's completely free and it'll help you walk step-by-step step through the entire process from creating your product on Printify, integrating that into your Etsy shop, and then starting to sell through Etsy. Hopefully that helps you. Right now, let's get back to the video. All right, at number four, I have another game changer from good old Adobe. I mean, you know Adobe, right? The big name behind Photoshop and Illustrator, I mean, these tools have been the backbone for designers creating eye-stopping designs for print-on-demand business for years. But let's be real, Adobe software can be pretty intimidating if you're not a design pro. Many business owners found themselves either struggling with the complex interface or, let's say, seeing a lot of money 
go out of the business because they needed to hire designers. But Adobe dropped some really exciting news not a long time ago. They have rolled out something called Firefly, and it is all about making design more accessible. Basically, you are diving into design without needing a degree in graphic arts. You can play around with Firefly for free online or via Adobe Express, and it's especially sleek in the latest Photoshop beta. So what is Firefly all about? It is not just an image generator, it can do so much more. And we're gonna look to include a demo here because I was mind blown when I saw what Firefly can do. It can add or zap elements just by typing what you want. It has some beautiful text effects. All you need to do is just type it and it's there. You can recolor vector artwork very, very easily. And my favorite is the generative fill. So you pick a spot in your image, tell Firefly what you want there, and it'll make it happen for you. I think it's pretty incredible. Now, as I said, you can jump into the world of Adobe Firefly for free. All you need to do is just sign up on their website and you are ready to start designing beautiful stuff for your store very quickly. All right, at number five, we have another tool in our AI toolkit that is such a hidden gem. I mean, this tool is, I've said this about all of them, but this is truly a game changer for anyone who's diving into print on demand and looking to keep things simple, easy, sleek, and beautiful. This is Canva. I mean, who hasn't heard of Canva? It's like having a design team at your fingertips, minus the hassle of managing them, or the cost of actually hiring a team. So. Let's take a look. Canva is packed with incredibly beautiful templates and graphics that are so easy to use and are either totally free or available to you for their paid subscription. It is so, so, so easy for anything that you need to whip up quickly and still have it look professional. But it doesn't stop at template, obviously. They're great and all, but for your print on demand business, you can use Canva's AI options and they have some pretty cool ones. Okay, so what am I talking about? First off, you have magic design. You can create any design with Canva, just like you would with Midjourney or with Dali or Adobe Firefly. Obviously the output is going to look different. So my recommendation is that you try all of them and you pick the one that uh, gets you the closest results to what you have in mind. But what I really like about Canva is that it has some other really cool AI features that come in very, very handy for any print on demand business. What am I talking about? First off, and I'm looking at my Canva screen here because um, it makes it so much easier to talk about all of the features. So number one is Magic Eraser. You can take any visual that you've generated either with Canva or any of the other tools, and you can delete something out of it that you don't want, and it'll make it look like that piece of the design was never there. It'll not leave it empty, it will fill it in with something else. So for example, for my son's designs, we actually ended up generating this beautiful Minecraft environment, but it had a lot of cacti and he didn't want to have some of those cacti there so we went in with canva magic erase we very easily removed all of the cacti and the background looked beautiful the other one is magic expand so let's say you have a design sometimes for example if you use mid journey it'll create automatically a square design for you unless you change the aspect ratio and if you want that design to be wider then you can either change the aspect ratio in directly in mid journey or you can bring bring it into canva and you can go magic expand and it will extend the visual for you in the same style as it was the other one is magic edit so you can change something in the image for something else so you can say remove this lemon and replace it with an orange and it'll do that for you you can do magic grab where you select a piece of the visual an object of your design and you can reposition it and you also have grab text which i find it so so helpful and by the way if you want me to do a tutorial on how to use all of these features 
let me know in the comments down below and I'm more than happy to do that. The magic grab text is so, so helpful because anything that you will design in Dali or Mid Journey, many times if you want to include text, the text gets messed up. So what you can do is bring that image into Canva, grab text, and then correct whatever spelling errors you will have had from Dali or from Midjourney. It'll make it so, so easy for you to change rather than tell Midjourney or Dali to change the spelling for you, which I've done that. And trust me, it takes much longer than it will if you bring it to Canva. All right, you guys, that was it for today. I really hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you are also excited about. I cannot wait to finish my son's Minecraft inspired Etsy shop. And if you want me to give you a tour of what we did and how we did that, again, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to download your free guide. As I said, we've put together that guide to walk you through step by step the entire process of working with Printify and then taking that into an Etsy shop. So I hope that helps you. Nothing in it for me other than hopefully it'll help you start a shop and be successful at it. Until next time, like this video if you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and also share it with a friend who might also be interested in starting a print on demand business. And I suggest you go ahead and watch this video next because it's gonna give you so much more ideas. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon.